going to shoot us. Because that's what he does. Mad gangster. It's scared. Apparently he has shot someone before. I don't want to mess with him. Smash go. A lot of game matches moves can't hurt the uh, iron crouch cancel so. Dude, this will be a very interesting matchup actually. Let's yeah. put it that way. Oh, so he's using side B a lot more in this matchup compared to against Yoshi. Uh, oh. That is some bullshit. Two puts in stun for like a little bit and then the nine will do it. Apologies for swearing on the stream. So I first bring in a pack. I So you, if you're if you're avoiding this match like a sweet spot the forward smash. No. Do you think do you think Fudge should be playing the aggressor or do you think he should be trying to keep Spice out here? Well I think he's probably got the range advantage. Yeah, I think if he spaces well with the with his sorting, I don't think Spice can land any sword any controller, but he needs to be careful. Stuff like that can happen. Spice walks right into that or Fudge can crouch cancel that dash attack, so I don't know if he was going for that, maybe he was going for a Dacus. Another down smash kill. Ooh. Nice read by Splice there. Forward smashing the roll. Chain grab. Very sharp combos. Oh. <laughs> if he focuses on Roy's up smash are very odd, so he can lead into things like another up smash though. So. I mean look, if you're not respecting it, he's just gonna do it again. Oh, that was close. Fudge was telling me earlier that the changes in 3.5 made his uh, Roy's down air harder to hit with. To get the uh, to get the sweet spot. Video? Oh, he must have just landed that sweet spot. I tell you what, Fudge is causing some upsets here today. That he is. Hopefully, hopefully he can take this set. Fudge has been improving a lot recently. I would, I would love for Fudge to win this tournament, to be honest. That would be, I, yes, I would love that too. No one has a problem where the top Project M players, the people who consistently win, are just the top melee players playing melee, basically. So for a PM specialist like Fudge to uh, take this one out, it means something. It would mean a lot for the Melbourne Project M community, I think. I think a lot of people would get a bit more of a drive to improve the game, so. Yeah, that as well. Ooh, nice read by Splice. Uh, Fudge is from Melbourne. Down smash, closing that stock off. I the battlefield. I reckon he'll be able to kill Fudge off the top very, very easily as he's just, just showcasing that last stock. Oh, nice jab reset. Nice forward smash, closing off that stock cleanly. You know, Fudge is throwing out a lot of F smashes, but they're all connecting. Yeah, he knows exactly when the safe time is to do that. Oh, that's beautiful. I think one of Fudge's major strengths is when knowing when to kill and when to just attack on damage. Yeah, definitely. Most of the time Fudge attempts to go for a forward smash or another kill move, it always kills. Like that, another solid forward smash out of neutral, landing in the stock. Oh, the hitbox above Game of Notch's hammer sent to the semi-spike angle, whereas the hammer is himself sent straight upwards. Oh, and he lands a 7, goes for the apple and gets punished for it. Oh. Ooh. Lands the 
down the aerial HL smash. Some unfortunate stocks lose for Fudge there. He's gonna go for back to oh! I don't think Fudge is gonna be very happy about this. That's an unfortunate loss to that match for Fudge. So we're one apiece. I'm not sure if this is the best of three or best of five. Is this best of three or best of five? Okay, beautiful, thank you. Best of five? It is a best of five. So Splice got a lot of reward out of his stage choice earlier against SD, so I don't know if Fudge has made the right choice. Yeah, the I don't know if he's aware of that. But it seems like that'll do it. Giving uh, Splice a bit of the catch up work to do now. Looks like he's uh, getting straight to it. Roy's being fast for a while, like a lot of... A lot of gaming launches, down tilts and other popping up moves will just combo reliably with finishes like Nair and Fair very early in the percentage. The platform means that both characters need to space vertically or they need to they can, you know, separate stuff pretty quickly. Nice, nice way dash down smash. I like how there Fudge didn't bother trying to punish the uh, the, F the up smash. He knows about the oh that was just made it. I Unfortunately, think, there I think the Fudge has knowledge about how quickly you can act out of up smash. And it also seems like the Fudge isn't falling for any of um Splice's up smash tech reads either. And he did fall for that. Spice takes That's unfortunate second stock. Yeah, Spice is using the platforms and the stage layout a lot to his advantage. Like I was saying earlier, the side of the stage has that little uh, diagonal angle which helps him down for it. Fudge lands another solid down smash and takes that stock. Crowd definitely starting to get behind Fudge as well. Getting hyped for the underdog. Nice edge held by Splice. Splice takes game three. Goes straight into, the, straight into what could be the last game of the tournament for Fudge. So it seems that uh, nice read by Fudge there, knowing to pick Yoshi's story and not Green Hill Zone because of Dom. <laughs> <laughs> and this being Roy's absolute best stage by far. He probably has some knowledge about some combos, and Splice is saying no, and Becky knows killer combos very cleanly. Interesting you say that because Fudge went to Yoshi's Island before instead of Green Hill Zone. That's true, maybe you should trying to be something different. I don't know if Splice banned it though. That's true. And there should be another edge. Oh, lands on the lingering fair. Unfortunate. Unfortunate for Fudge, yeah. Ah. I don't, know what's, I don't know what Splice was doing there, hanging around on the edge like that. Just set Fudge right up for an F smash. Oh, nice change. Oh, that was... Oh, oh. Oh. Down here. That would have been very sexy. Yeah, I haven't seen Splice sweet spotting the ledge with his recovery much at all. And he's been punished for it a lot of times, especially by a character with solid edge guarding tools like Roy, he needs to be careful. Oh, so that was... Alright, Fudge bringing it back. Getting a bit too keen with his button press there though, and then that smash was trouble. the piece. Oh, bacon. Oh, 
for his amazing grab range season. Uh, oh, just looks bad. But just some amazing knowledge about Rose recovery because I always think he's gonna die when he makes it back. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Oh. Almost got away from that one. Potentially last stop for Fudge at this tournament. Nice sweet spot by Splice. That, I think might be it. Yeah. Big round of applause for Fudge. And very well at Marzo House too. And good job to splice. Solid game. Yeah, definitely. I think now we will be seeing... I think it's uh, Red Axe versus... Uh